child who survived Who isn't scared to paint And who isn't scared to fly Who's got the heart of a lion in the beautiful mind In this video, I'm going to teach you a simple hack on how to get clumps out of your flow trowel Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a super simple hack on how to get clumps out of your flow trowel I call them flow trowel snots Make sure you always shake your flow trowel bottle but that doesn't always take the clumps out that are already in there so i've come up with a super simple hack you need scissors and elastic i'm going to use this cup to pour in to show you and nylons yeah that's right nylons i get mine at the dollar store and super cheap i've used this one quite a bit and i cut the little legs as i go and so what you want to do is take your flow trowel bottle and you wanna take your nylons. And what I do is I usually cut a piece big enough that will go over the cap, where the cap is. So I take my scissors, I pinch it together, and I cut it. All right, throw those to the side. You don't need the whole thing. And you're left with a square. And out of this square, you can actually get two pieces that will work for this hack one you can use to replace the first one so it's a two for one make sure you have really sharp scissors because it's a pain in the neck to cut and as you can see i don't so that's what you get so i just spread it apart what i do is i cut one side and then i cut it in half again so this ultimate gives, ultimately gives you two squares. One square, like I said, you can put to the side and use it as the next replacement one. And here is the hack. Take the cap off of your flow trowel bottle and use the nylon. So what I do is I take the elastic and the nylon and I stretch the nylon so that the mesh in it comes apart a little bit. And I'll hold it stretched over the opening where the cap was. Then use your elastic and make sure you go around the cap enough to make sure it's secure because you do not want to, I've done that before, you don't want to flip over your bottle and have it all come rushing out. Then I trim the excess nylon around the cap and that's what you get. So it's almost like a built-on strainer. And what you want to do is you want to make sure the elastic goes over the little, there's a little plastic lip. I use my scissors to make sure it goes over that. And that just makes sure it's secure. But you can also recap it. So your flow trowel can be sealed when you're done and you don't have to remove the nylon every time. Only when it gets really gunky or built up. And that prevents any of the clumps in your flow trowel from hitting your paint. So if you like this super simple hack for your flow trowel and how to strain the clumps out of it, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, I also offer a basic fundamentals tutorial by email only. You can check out the links below. Seems like the more time pass, the less I know. Change, there will be pain. These winds will blow.